Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to park a domain on GoDaddy. So before we start, of course, the first thing that you would like to do is just go and open whatever browser you are going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser it could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section, simply type godaddy.com and hit the enter button. Of course, that should take you into this page. And if you're facing any issues with the language, as I faced in my first time in this website, you'll have to scroll down until the bottom of it and make sure to change the country or region, which will take the or which will change the language with it. Of course, if you want even to change the currency, that will be possible. So now I uh, will have to go back and log in into your account if you have one. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create one. Of course, you will be able to do both options as this top right corner option, you will find the option to create or even log in into your account. Once you did one of those two options, you'll find yourself on this screen, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Get on GoDaddy website. So as we said in the beginning of this tutorial is we would like to park a domain on GoDaddy. So for now, we'll not need this page. We'll have to go to another page, open a new tab. Then here simply type dcc.godaddy.com. And of course, that will take you into the domain portfolio on GoDaddy. Of course, if they ask you to log in into your account again, make sure to do that. It will not take a lot of time. And here you will have to select all the domains that you would like to park. For me, I have just one. So as you can see, I can select just this one. And now once you select this, make sure to click at this three dots and make sure to go into this edit DNS option. So let's just wait until it's open the DNS management for us. Of course, you can go into the DNS manager from this, but it's gonna take more steps. So let's just go back into this. So of course, now you would like to click at edit next to the record A. As you can see, that is the record A and with the ads on the name make sure to click on edit for me i can't edit because i actually exported or imported this website from somewhere else so i cannot edit it but for you if you didn't of course you'll be able to edit it click at edit and of course simply you'll have to update the value field to ip address like 34.102. Uh, and etc. Of course, then simply uh, save all the changes and you'll be good to go. So, this will be actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.